We can't tell you that no one was hurt, and the drone was being used to inspect it hourly as scientists expected it was getting very close to collapsing. This was the second largest radio telescope in the world. It had been operating for more than 50 years before it was decommissioned several years ago. Just incredible. And that really was an iconic observatory. And you know, luckily nobody was near it. It's been featured in some movies, I know. It's something that's been used to send signals out of the space. So is anybody listening up there? They know a little bit about us. Back home tonight, we use totally different technology to figure out the weather. The satellites that are zooming around our Earth with Doppler radar here at the ground. The computer models that we're going to talk a lot about today. Temperatures are in the 40s right now, not so bad. But the thing is, the weather is not really going to be a problem tonight or tomorrow. Clear skies giving way to these clouds starting to work toward us. And the clouds will eventually contain some rain. But there are two pieces we're watching to our west. Ingredients that have to come together. And it's two separate parts of the jet stream, two branches. A northern branch, which is up here, you can see some clouds here in the Great Lakes. Look at the clouds back here in Wisconsin. They're diving in this way, and that's producing uh, a jet stream dip that's trying to scoop up a storm that's back in here. And it's kind of a circulation back here that's um, pushing this rain through the deep south and into the Midwest. If these two can come together and make it toward the coast, then you've got yourself a storm brewing. And it really is looking more and more likely that's going to happen. Is it possible these three still don't come together perfectly? Absolutely. That's why you're going to stick with us over the next couple of days. How these winter storms are? Sure, the computers can tell us all kinds of things about what may be coming. But we have to watch the atmosphere and actually see this all come together. Hey, What's up, y'all? How are y'all doing this afternoon? I thought I would come on and make a video about personality. Your personality cannot be. And this simply means you need to have some type of personality, obviously. You need to have some type of interesting thing about you. You can't just be the law. You can't just be blank. You just can't be, you know, forgettable. I'll just say that. Forgettable. You need to stand out personality-wise if you want to stand out from a group of people, a group of women, um, anyone who is dating the person that you might want, because they're going to compare you to all other women that they may have an opportunity with. So if they like you the best, um, a combination of what you look like and your personality, they're probably most likely going to spend more time with you. Grammarly does more than catch errors. With Grammarly, you can find really good, no, perfect words that make your writing sharp or explicit or excellent or distinctive. As a matter of fact, for what it's worth, Grammarly can, yeah, it's long. We can get rid of that, and this, good, and this, or how about this? Grammarly helps you be concise. If your tone might make someone feel like this, Grammarly can remind you. It would help if you soften your tone. And if you need the support, Grammarly encourages you to write confidently. Because the better we all communicate, the better we connect. Grammarly, helping you connect. Go to Grammarly.com and download today. Did you know that some aluminum free deodorants only mask odor? Secret Aluminum Free helps eliminate odor instead of just masking it. And is made with three times more odor fighters. With Secret, keep it fresh every day. Secret. Okay. So if your personality is blah, work on it. Work on it. 
talk to people that you don't know, talk to strangers, go out and um, test your personality on normal people that you're not trying to you know, get the interest of. So I don't care if it's on the phone, in person or whatever, but you cannot just be belong. You can't just be someone that's forgettable because in the long run, if you do end up with this person, you have to spend a lot of years with this person. And if your personality is boring, they're going to be like literally just done with you, okay? Literally just done. Um, exactly. So you can't just be beautiful. You've got to also have some type of interesting thing going on in your head or just fun to be around. Um, so choose the type of personality that you are normally and expand on it. Um, if you are normally quiet um, and, and laid back and things like that, that's not really going to seal the deal. So you're going to have to develop some type of personality. That just still could be laid back, but it can't just be absent, okay? You, you can't be absent. If you're absent, someone else will fill in the void for you. Someone else, exactly. So, work on yourself. Work on talking to everyone that you can until you find your own self interesting. I'll say that. Until you find your own self interesting. Have a lot of, you know, people that you can test and see how they respond to you. If people are hurrying up trying to get rid of, you know, you off the phone or making excuses or if their attention is not on you when you're in their presence, that's a sign that your personality is boring. If people are easily distracted around you and oftentimes are paying more attention to other things in the room or maybe on their phone, chances are your personality is boring. So you can't um, ignore those signs, you know, work on that. Um, if people don't remember what you said a lot, they weren't listening to you. Um, if people don't remember your name often, like even though you've introduced yourself several times, you are a forgettable person. So the best thing to do is have a distinct personality that people will remember. Remember, okay? Um, a distinct personality does not mean a distinct style because a lot of people get style confused with personality. Your spring collection became the hottest thing when fiber freelancers made a marketing campaign. They built your unique landing page, designed ultra effective social strategy banners and manage and track your Instagram feed. Big like. For every step your business takes, Fiverr, freelance services on demand. I have been suffering with migraine.